Welcome back. Soon, Tennessee may require your student, uh, student to learn more about firearm safety. State Capitol reporter Chris O'Brien explores the proposal. There's a bill weaving its way through the Tennessee General Assembly set to mandate schools to teach firearm safety. It includes five points around the safe storage and general safety of guns. I think the chances of, of someone seeing a gun, a, a, a minor seeing a gun at some point is, is you know, that that's... That's a reality of life. On its face, Democrats seemed favorable to the bill, though they said they'd prefer more substantial fixes. Firearm safety is important. I, I realize, you know, there's a lot of children across Tennessee, like myself, who grew up with firearms and hunting. But dive a little deeper into it, and you'll see a line that reads a teacher must be viewpoint neutral on political topics such as gun rights, gun violence, and the Second Amendment to the United States Constitution. The neutral to gun violence portion is where some Democrats took issue last week. I didn't understand there was a neutral position on gun. Gun violence is bad. We don't want anything politicized in this. It's just straight facts. They also say they'd like to see some language around allowing opt-outs and allow for a third party to provide the training instead of a teacher. We can't pretend like we're not adding something to a teacher's plate if she's got to teach all five or he have to teach all five of those concepts. As soon as you introduce the topic. There are going to be so many questions. I think we should be able to have someone to opt out of this if they don't choose it's appropriate for their child. We do not allow parents to opt their children out of fire safety training. We do not allow them to opt out of any other safety training that is considered essential. The bill ultimately passed its final House committee with bipartisan support as Memphis and Clarksville reps Jesse Chisholm and Ronnie Glynn joined all of their Republican colleagues. It now heads to the House floor. In Nashville, Chris O'Brien. Now, of note, if the bill passes, it will not include any demonstrations of how to use a gun, but there may be unloaded guns present during those classes.